treatment for this problem typically begins with conservative treatment. We try things like anti-inflammatories to reduce the inflammation around the nerves. We do things such as physical therapy. Physical therapy doesn't fix the underlying condition, but it can help to strengthen the muscles around the spine and help to show people different postures that can help to alleviate those symptoms. In the end, if patients can't live with it, and if we can't manage it, then you start to talk about interventions. And so the typical intervention that people think about are steroid injections into the spine. Before we do that, we always get an MRI to confirm exactly what the problem is and exactly where the tightness in the spine occurs. And once we've been able to identify that, then we can work with our colleagues that do the injections. Those are our folks that are called physiatrists. Those are our non-surgical spine specialists. And under special x-ray guidance, they can place a needle into the spine and deliver the steroid medication around the nerve. That often can give good temporary relief. Patients always ask how temporary, how long will it last? And I always tell them we don't know until we try it. Um, but it can last sometimes days, weeks, months, or years. Sometimes it takes more than one uh, shot to calm it down. We'll oftentimes try up to uh, two or three sets of injections. Ultimately, if as a patient you can't live with the symptoms and we're not able to help you manage it with the therapy and the shots, then the final option is to fix the problem, and that's surgery. And surgery typically involves alleviating that stenosis. And so we go into the spine and remove parts of the spine that are putting pressure on the nerve, and we call that a decompression. In some cases, that decompression does come along with a stabilization procedure. This is what people talk about a fusion. And that all depends on the specific conditions of the spine, whether or not it needs to be stabilized or not. So not everybody with stenosis needs a fusion, uh, but they do need to have the nerves decompressed if they fail conservative treatment.